champion training, which is what we've been doing, you know, champion training, often when we think of, of training, it's intense. It's a sacrifice. It's blood, sweat, and tears. And that is a part of training to become a champion. But this is where I think a lot of people miss it. That's not the whole part because success isn't just accomplishing goals. Success is quality of life as well. So in addition to preparing to be a champion by training hard, we're also going to train in the area of play, of fun, of refreshing, of rest. So I'm all about balance. I think you know that. I love balance. I like to work hard and go deep in the spirit. And I like to play hard and have a good time. And, and I believe that as believers, for us to really reflect what a life of Christ is, it's not just being uptight and super spiritual. We should be laughing and having a good time and enjoying life and seeing a lot of fruit in the area of joy. All right, so where does fun fit? Let's talk about this. Because in our church world, in our Christian world, there's often this drive to be spiritual. That's the focus is being spiritual, doing all these spiritual activities studying the word, going to Bible studies, reading, praying. There's such a focus on always doing more. And then we have these scriptures that come in that can get us very confused. Scriptures such as, you know, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So, you know, I shouldn't be in the carnal. I need to always be in the spirit, always spiritually minded. There's scriptures such as, you know, don't love the world or the things in the world. So I think sometimes our Christian culture is so driven to be spiritual. But listen, there is a difference between flesh and fun. There's a difference between flesh and fun. But for a lot of us that came up in the world and we didn't really, we weren't raised in Christianity, and even some people that were raised in Christianity, but especially those of us that were in the world, flesh and fun were synonymous. They were best friends. <laughs> so all of our fun was usually a flesh fest which always led to death. So it was fun for a moment, but then we paid a heavy price. But I think a lot of us as Christians, you know, we, we kind of throw out the flesh, but we throw out the fun with it. And there's not a whole lot of talk about having fun. It's just, there's a lot of talk about not being in the flesh. Don't be in the flesh. Don't be in the flesh. But listen, flesh and fun are two totally separate things. And there's a way to have fun, real joy, real giddiness, real goofiness, real childlike, to be lighthearted, to be carefree. That's what it is to truly be in the spirit. Write this down. Having fun is highly spiritual. Enjoying your life is highly spiritual. The more fun you have, the more spiritual you are. Oh my gosh, we don't get taught that, do we? The more fun you have, the more spiritual you are. 